Hey guys! The fifth episode of Suicide Squad Ice Guy is out, and it's time to dive into all the details of this episode. Was it better than the previous one? Or is it so bad it's hard to keep up with? Stick around to the end of the video to get all the details in this spoiler-filled analysis. Welcome to Comic Chronicles. Suicide Squad Ice Guy has reached the halfway point of its season, and we are getting closer to uncovering the secrets behind the entire plot involving the kingdom's wars against the emperor. But before we delve into all the moments from the episode, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Every day you'll receive quality content and updates about DC and Marvel. Give us a hand so YouTube can recommend this video to even more people. Thank you very much. After helping to defeat Ratcatcher, the Suicide Squad was finally freed by the Queen and can now travel to the portal before the 72-hour time limit for their chips to explode runs out. As they approach the portal, they try to figure out how to reach it since it's floating high over the water. With just seconds left on the clock, they could only hope that the place they were standing was close enough to the portal to pick up the chip's signal. Fortunately for them, everything worked out, and the countdown reset. Now they must resume the mission with Rick Flag in command. Remember, the mission is to create and protect a series of bridgeheads that will serve as bases for research and resource exploration in an area. If the mission is successful, their sentences will be reduced, otherwise, the tracking chips wall are implanted in them will explode. To continue the mission, they must build a good relationship with the kingdom, so they return and help the kingdom's army win several battles against the empire, gradually helping the kingdom reclaim its territory. During the journey, Deadshot and Harley run out of ammunition, but Flag remembers there might be extra ammo in the helicopter from the first group that passed through the portal with him since it wasn't destroyed in the landing. To replenish their ammo, they detour from the battle route toward the helicopter but take a break to eat with their prison friends, who are now maintaining one of the kingdom's bases in gratitude for the help in the battle against Ratcatcher. As they say goodbye to their friends, Harley receives a giant frying pan as a gift. According to her, frying pans are wonderful weapons because if they can be used against zombies in movies, they must be able to defeat anything. The Suicide Squad members go on a long journey until they finally get close to the helicopter, but unfortunately, a large dragon built a nest right on top of the aircraft. To get past the dragon, Harley, Clayface, Deadshot, and Nino distracted while Peacemaker and Flag run toward the helicopter. Once there, Flag finds a box full of ammunition and a communicator. He hides the communicator and starts separating the ammo they will need. Harley catches up and spots the perfect weapon to defeat the dragon. She tosses the weapon to Deadshot, who fires it, causing the dragon to fall to the ground. The dragon nearly falls on Deadshot, who runs to save himself but slips down a cliff, only to be saved by Nino, who grabs him by the arm. Meanwhile, Flag manages to get away and uses the communicator to update Waller on the mission, informing her that the first squad has joined the enemy army. Waller then orders him to kill them and complete the second squad's mission. With the beast defeated, the whole squad gathers at the helicopter. Peacemaker finds a dragon egg in the nest and asks Harley for the frying pan to make a giant omelette. But Harley thinks that's too cruel and decides to protect the egg, which soon hatches, creating a dragon pup that becomes somewhat of a mascot for her. On the way back, the group is horrified to see that their prison friend's base was entirely destroyed by Thinker and Enchantress, ending the episode. This episode was definitely very bad. The anime is halfway through the season, and so far, its protagonists are the same as they were in the early episodes. I mentioned in previous reviews that to have a good story, you need character development. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece, but there should be enough development for people to become attached to the protagonists. Suicide Squad Ice Guy lacks this. It's a shame because this anime has good animation quality, an interesting soundtrack, great action scenes, successful DC characters, and good interactions between them, but the minimum needed for a good story hasn't been done. Maybe the next episode will be a bit better, since there will be a battle between the Suicide Squad, Thinker, and Enchantress. However, the battle needs to be interesting because their last fight against Ratcatcher wasn't that engaging. Additionally, in episode 1, I theorized that the bandaged body Amanda Waller was using to keep the portal between the real world and the ice guy open might be the Enchantress, but she just appeared at the end of episode 5, which leaves me even more puzzled about who that woman is. Another flaw in this episode is that it was very rushed, and one of the anime's great qualities, the action scenes, was overlooked here. The squad helps the kingdom win several battles, 
but we don't see this in detail. We only see small clips of the battles, which in the end is quite uninteresting, despite one or two funny moments. What still gives me hope for this anime is the plot involving the other villains and the Emperor, along with Amanda Waller's interest in all of this. Now we just have to wait for the upcoming episodes to see if the story will finally develop or not. If you want to buy Suicide Squad comics, DC Comics, or any other products, use our affiliate links from Amazon in the description of this video or in our community tab. By doing so, you support our work at no extra cost to you. Did you like episode 5 of Suicide Squad Ice Sky? Are you going to watch all the episodes, or have you given up on the series? Write in the comments, tap that bell appearing on your screen, and subscribe to our channel. Become part of this growing comic-loving community here on YouTube. Give us your support, your presence is very important to us. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.